Let's go back to the early 90s when pro-abortion and ambivalent politicians controlled the Texas governor's office, House, and Senate. A small group of pro-life activists, fed up with a constant stream of abortion victories, decided to do something about it. They organized an annual Texas rally for life at the Capitol to commemorate the tragedy of Roe versus Wade. They also tried to pass a parental notification bill and failed. The votes just weren't there. So Texas Alliance for Life worked to replace pro-abortion politicians with pro-life champions. Victory began in 94 with the election of Governor George W. Bush. With Bush's help, the fight for parental notification grew more intense. Each session, the pro-abortion stranglehold on the Texas legislature weakened. In 98, Texans elected Rick Perry as lieutenant governor. The very next year, parental notification passed. In 2003, the Texas legislature elected its first pro-life Speaker of the House. Finally, after a decade of hard campaigning, the governor, speaker, and lieutenant governor were all pro-life. The same year, Texas Alliance for Life crafted a personhood bill which recognizes unborn babies as persons in the eyes of the law. The bill passed 112 to 15. Joe Poyman, executive director of Texas Alliance for Life, unsatisfied with the parental notification law, worked with pro-life legislators on a new bill requiring parental consent. It passed in 2005, resulting in a huge drop in abortion on minor girls. But even with all these victories, abortion providers like Planned Parenthood received millions of tax dollars each year. So Texas Alliance for Life shifted focus to defund Planned Parenthood and to pass the sonogram law forcing abortion providers to inform women about their babies and give them more time to choose life. Suddenly, abortion facilities around Texas started closing their doors, but Texas Alliance for Life was just getting started. In 2013, they fought for the biggest pro-life bill yet, which an unruly mob killed at the last minute in an angry uproar. So Texas Alliance for Life worked with other groups throughout the state to organize an unprecedented grassroots effort. Thousands of pro-lifers flooded the Capitol daily to stand for life. The bill finally passed, banning abortion after five months and dramatically raising safety standards at abortion facilities. The result? Countless lives saved from the tragedy of abortion. What started as a small group of pro-life activists is now an alliance of more than a quarter of a million Texans who continue to defend innocent human life from conception to natural death. We won't stop. We won't give up. We will end abortion.